Welcome back delegates. This is our second orientation session. I am Sudipta Ghosh, Head of International Press, Balwantra Mehta Vidya Bhavan, Model United Nations. In this video, we shall discuss attendance and voting, opening speeches, moderated caucus, points and motions, unmoderated caucus, submission of resolutions and awards. Attendance and voting procedure. Listen for the name of your country when the chair is speaking out country names and raise your country placard when your name comes. That is when they speak the name of your country. And please state whether you are present or present and voting. And the condition is that if you do not make an opening speech, you cannot vote for the agenda. And if you are making for the, uh, making an opening speech, then you cannot abstain from voting. Abstain from abstaining from voting means that you do not go in favor and you also do not go against. You are you think that you are somewhere in the middle ground. But if you make an opening speech, you cannot do that. So those making an opening speech cannot abstain from voting. They should state present and voting. But who are not making the opening speech, please state present. Now. Uh, this is to be kept in mind that uh, only five delegates in a committee can abstain from voting. It should be clear. Now the voting procedures. The judges or the chair will ask the delegates to raise their country placards if they agree or disagree on a matter. And when they ask so, do that. Raise your country placard for indicating your vote. Now voting for the agenda is a special topic. The agenda or the topic that will uh, get the maximum number of votes will be automatically chosen as an agenda for the day. But for other cases like voting on resolutions and voting on uh, debates and motions, a two-third majority is required for winning a vote. And also keep that golden rule in mind. Delegates who did not make an opening speech can uh, abstain from voting but those who did cannot now about opening speeches something about opening speeches opening speeches uh, the delegates have to speak in an order that uh, there will be a speakers list and according to that speakers list the chair will call upon your name your nation's name and whenever they call that you have to come to the dais or the podium and your speech can be based on the position paper itself just add a salutation like good morning good uh, good afternoon etc and uh, this is the delegate of uh, dash 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 doing this and that whatever and then you shall you can uh, base your speech on the position paper on the topic that you feel should be discussed first only read that paragraph and you are allowed to read from a paper no need to mem memorize things because you cannot memorize that much in a modern united nations there are many things to be memorized if you go that way focus on only one single topic that as i discussed only one topic please do not come to us uh, come to the dais that and you start speaking on all the four topics your position paper shall have four topics four paragraphs but your opening speech should be based on one the timing will be decided by the judges on the spot but it should be between 30 seconds to one meter one minute you can plan that it's a very short speech please speak slowly so that everyone can understand because if they don't they may raise a point of personal privilege more on that later and even if you make a mistake don't try to do anything with it like uh, say sorry I w wish to say that that will break the flow just move on and most of the time no one cares now moderated caucus or debates speeches are simple speeches of about 30 seconds to one minute but the debates can be around 90 seconds or one and a half minutes as you can see, I have written that moderated caucus is just a fancy name for a debate session. So, 
first the chair will ask those in favor of the motion to speak one by one according to the speakers list and after that those who are speaking against shall have the call and uh, regarding speeches and debates i wish to share one more fact that you should be clear with two terms the first is taking the flow taking the flow means you have to speak now you should come to the podium and you have the right to speak in front of all the delegates and the chair and yielding the flow y i e l d yielding the flow means that you should now leave the podium and go back to your seat now coming back to the topic moderated caucus so and it's also that even if your na name is on the speakers list but if you believe that your uh, your opinions and points match that of another nation you can see uh, you can see that listen to the, uh, listen to them and say that when it, your turn comes you can say that the delegate of america for example seconds you have to use the word seconds seconds the delegate of for example france and yes again you are allowed to read from a paper but in a debate keep in mind that your persuasion and your body language also speaks you have to make eye contact too again if you make a mistake don't do anything with it now points and motions points and motions are simple phrases or uh, you can uh, you can say demands that you can put up any time during the debate or the opening speeches but not when someone is speaking you cannot interrupt a speaker this is for the simple reason that you should give the respect to the speaker what he or she deserves so points you can raise the following points the points of personal privilege the point of information point of order and point of parliamentary inquiry in each committee there will be a rapporteur a rapporteur is just a volunteer fancy name for a volunteer and you have to when you are uh, raising a point the points like these please raise your index finger right hand index finger you should raise and then the volunteer shall come to you you can say your request or your point to them who shall then report to the chair or the judges you should raise a point of personal privilege when you are having any discomfort you wish to uh, drink some water you want to go to the washroom or you have some issues hearing the speaker and you can say that uh, the delegate of uh, belgium uh, the delegate of belgium raises a point of personal privilege that i am not able uh, that he or she is not able to hear the delegate of uh, uh, for example who is speaking and then the point of information the point of information can be to the speaker or to the chair so after a speaker has finished speaking only in case of debates not in case of opening speeches point of information cannot be raised uh, in the case of opening speeches only in the case of debates when a speaker has finished speaking and you have any question or something something or some information to add or to point out their mistakes you can uh, raise a point of information and uh, we will ask uh, uh, that speaker to again uh, take the floor and uh, clarify now you can also raise a point of information to the chair if you have questions like when this session gets over when the next part starts or how many speakers are left etc etc you can raise this point also the point of information to the chair point of order now if you disagree with the chair with the chair that uh, when we have a uh, uh done voting uh, we have done voting the, then the chair uh, sees that two third majority is done and uh, we pass uh, the motion or anything if you disagree with the chair please raise a point of order and uh, any point raised shall be uh, finalized by the chair which points to consider and which to not so do not panic over there 
नेक्स्ट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री इंक्वायरी पार्लियामेंट्री इंक्वायरी मीन्स इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चन अबाउट द रूल्स दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चन अबाउट हाउ मच टाइम शेल बी गिवन टू मी सो दैट इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ पार्लियामेंट्री इंक्वायरी नाउ वी गो टू मोशंस देर आर थ्री मेन मोशंस दैट यू कैन रेज आफ्टर द मॉडरेटेड कॉकस सेशन इज ओवर मोशन टू एक्सटेंड डिबेट टाइम इफ योर टर्न कुड नॉट कम इन द मॉडरेटेड कॉकस यू कैन आस्क और रेज अ मोशन टू एक्सटेंड द डिबेट टाइम and then it shall be subject to the chair if they agree uh, to extend the time then it will uh, uh, be subject to voting and if you get the two third majority of all the delegates then only you can extend the time there is also a motion to move to a previous question now if you uh, had raised earlier raised a point uh, point of information to a speaker and during that time they had given an answer but did not it did not clear your question you can uh, raise a motion to move to a previous question after the debate is over motion to reconsider a resolution so uh, as we had discussed that after an moderated caucus you submit the resolution so if someone uh, submits the resolution and one delegate has or a number of delegates have some Uh, issues with a resolution they can pass a motion to reconsider a resolution now it is to be kept in mind points do not need voting to be passed but motions need voting and a two third majority is required for a motion to be passed now unmoderated caucus or lobbying this session will uh, last around 30 minutes to 1 hour the chair can ask countries who have similar goals or policies to team up or form lobbies as i have written over here you can roam around the room and uh, find out which country has uh, which goals which policies are they in favor of your nation or not and then you can uh, discuss or team up with some countries because uh, as we know that you have to write some resolutions so you have to have sponsors so if you can form teams or lobbies you can uh, write a resolution with all of them and uh, you will have uh, many sponsors then and then uh, you have to decide who is the main submitter within the lobby that is uh, who will submit the resolution on behalf of all of them and uh, it is the it is the task for the main submitter to go to the other lobbies other countries and uh, ask them or propose them to be signatories to their resolution as you know five signatories are required so during the first day you have to write the working paper working paper is the draft resolution okay so after you have written the draft resolution and everyone has agreed you have got the signatories then finalize the resolution and after unmoderated caucus you can submit the resolution so unmoderated caucus may be a sketchy thing but it just refers to the period where you form uh, teams and lobbies no one is watching you the chair will be helping you in writing the resolutions and all no worries so that was for unmoderated caucus now how to submit the resolution paper now during unmoderated caucus you have decided who will be the ma- main submitter or the uh, main submitter of the resolution so when the chair asks for the team to send a submitter send that person they will be asked to read the resolution in front of the chair and all the delegates and then they have to put the resolution on the table Uh, on the table where the chair is sitting so the chair will also have a copy of the resolution i uh, either you can do that or uh, uh, make two copies of that and submit one to the chair and read from one you have the option so during this time after reading the resolution when the submitter has finished speaking 
any delegate having a problem with the resolution can raise the motion to reconsider the resolution as we have discussed earlier then voting will be done with resolutions having uh, support of more than two third of majority will be adopted two third majority is a standard thing so resolutions which are accepted or supported by uh, more than two third of the delegates will be adopted resolutions are the solutions that the un will even takes so after uh, the resolutions have the support they will be adopted by the united nations and if uh, if the sponsors wish to change the resolutions this may be in response to a motion to reconsider uh, the resolution or any grammatical error you might have made and uh, come to know later you can change the resolution via amendments amendments will be again a document that will be made just like the resolution paper just uh, put the heading as amendment to resolution so that was submission of resolutions and with that i feel that we have covered all let us check that we have discussed attendance and voting we have discussed opening speeches we have discussed moderated caucus points and motions and moderated caucus and submission of resolutions this shall be clear to you any questions if you have any questions then uh, ask the organizing committee ask the secretary general ask the director general ask me on whatsapp or the email then we move to awards we have already seen actually these are the awards that we will be giving one will be the best delegate from each committee we will be having four best delegate awards the choosing of best delegates will be done by the chair and the decision will be final we are also having an award for the best position paper and this is why position papers are important if you do not submit a position paper you lose out on everything there is also a third award that we are giving that is the best speaker award now for being the best speaker you do not have to make all the speeches or the debates you do not have to participate in all the opening speeches in all the uh, debates as i have said being the best speaker just means that you have put your put forward your points effectively you have had the impact by your speech best delegate is an all rounder type of uh, award and best position paper name suggests so uh, these are the awards overall three awards everyone who is winning shall be given a merit certificate a trophy and some mysterious prizes okay so these three awards are for each committee so in total i think we might be having 12 awards in total so that was fit for the session thank you if you have any questions reach out to us as soon as possible and if you have completed it, your research start writing your resolution papers and send it over thank you